if you are done with the design of your application and now you want to hand over the assets and the design specifications to the developer follow these steps that are very important when you are going to hand over the assets and creating the design specification link so just create a style guide where you have to place all the icons you have used inside your application for example you are using a single icon in different colors so i suggest place every single color separately so if there are icons of different sizes place a copy of it inside your style guide so if you have used white color icons on a dark background so just create a dark background and place the white color icons and when you're finished with it do one very important step and that is rename your layers so just click on it and there you can see that this icon is renamed as date underscore range icon so in a very similar fashion check circle icon so i have renamed all the icons with proper names so that can be understandable right so create the style guide rename your layers and now in just a few clicks we can create we can save the assets for our developers to make use of so select all these icons press shift so we do not want this dark rectangle this shape deselect so deselect this menu as well and now just go to file exports and selected just go to desktop so now if you want to create assets for android so it will save these selected icons in these mentioned dimensions so if you want to save icons for ios so you have designed it at 1x and it will resize it for 2x and 3x and save it in your folder so let's save the android assets create a new folder so let's rename it as end town android assets okay so the file format is png and let's export it took some time and there we have so let's go to drawable double x hdpi and we have all the icons in a png format inside this folder so let's open one of them so you can observe the size of it or you can just go to get info or the properties of this icon and uh, there we have the size 1 to 9 by 1 to 9 and the same icon inside the hdpi drawable folder is 65 by 65 let's open it and you can observe the size so adobe xt has resized all the icons now the next thing is that you want to create design specification link or the review link so let's go to let's select the initial screen and let's go to share just give it a name so this is end town app and view settings select development and uncheck this downloadable assets and then create a link it will take some time and it will create the design specification link for you so we can get to the link and we can see that what are the benefits and how this link is going to benefit the development team so we are done with the design specification let's copy this link click on it get to the browser and paste this link so the link has been opened we can get to this tab and that is the view specs click on it so let's change the screen and there we have so now it is suggesting us that what are the screen sizes the colors you have used and the fonts you have used inside your application
so if I click on this text that is email address so now you can see that it is showing me the the typeface I have used so that is SF Pro display regular uh, the the size of the text the alignment the spacing between the characters spacing between the lines the color and I can just click on it to copy the hex code and we have the content email address I can also click on this to co copy the content and we have the CSS uh, properties so and also you can see the distance between from the left side of the screens and the right side so I think this information is very useful for the developers and it can ease their task so this is how you can create the design specifications and this is how you can save assets and you can share it with the developers and it can save a lot of their time so I believe that these informations would be very helpful for you see you in the next lesson thank you so much